What's up YouTube, Adam here, and in this video, I'm going to be bringing you my full review of this. Now, this is the Thekus W5810, and this is a network-attached storage device with a very big difference, and that is that instead of coming with the usual proprietary Linux operating system like most NAS devices do, this one comes pre-installed with Windows Storage Server 2012 R2 Essentials. So what that basically means is that this box comes pre-installed with Windows Windows and is for all intensive purposes a Windows based server. Now what that means is that instead of having to maybe virtualize Windows or try and roll with some functionality that comes on a Linux device that tries to impersonate Windows and Active Directory and all of those different items, this thing does it completely out of the box. Now as you can see, this thing has five drive bays, so you can get a lot of storage in here, no problem whatsoever, and round on the back we've got a whole bunch of connectivity as well. We've got gigabit ethernet ports, we've got USB 2, USB 3, and also HDMI and a line out for audio as well, which means that you can quite literally use this as a PC if you so desired. Now the real purpose for this is to be a network attached storage device therefore giving your business a whole bunch of functionality around the workplace network or indeed you could use this at home as well now once you've turned this on this literally boots straight into Windows connect it up via HDMI enable remote desktop connect up to it from your computer and you are connected to a full-blown Windows 2012 R2 server that you can use for whatever purpose you would like to run through all of the auto configuration and you can create yourself a domain you can join this to the domain you can use this exactly the same as you would any other Windows based server so this really is a fantastic bit of kit to give you all of that Windows functionality without having all of the kind of aches and pains that you might have with installing it onto a physical purpose-built server for example this thing right out of the box gives you the ability to go straight ahead create yourself a domain set up DHCP set up DNS set up all of your file sharing all of that using an interface which you're used to which is obviously the Windows GUI now as you can see this comes with a 32 gigabyte SSD drive for the operating system itself meaning that navigating around the operating system and all of the operating system basic tasks are very very fast indeed so this is an extremely quick unit it's got great specifications and this will easily facilitate a network for potentially 20 30 40 maybe even 50 users for all of their file based access now if you want to get remote access to this you can do that in a whole bunch of different ways they roll with the orbweb.me which gives you mobile access to it as well but you can use a whole bunch of different tools to enable yourself to do that now once you've got the drives installed into the unit itself it's just a question of going into disk management and formatting those drives now you use the inbuilt raid functionality so if you put in here maybe three four five drives you can just go right ahead use the windows raid functionality to create yourself maybe a raid 0 a raid 1 a raid 5 or even possibly a raid 10 it's completely up to you how you configure that and then that just simply appears as another drive and then you can go ahead and start creating folders and sharing those out putting permissions on them and all of the other stuff that is fully capable via the Windows operating system and obviously this really is extremely capable due to that native operating system that's sitting on it there's so many things you could do with it the list is really quite endless now you can see here it's got a 2 gigahertz Celeron processor 4 gigabytes of RAM as well and although that may not sound a lot because this is a dedicated purpose-built device that is more than you will ever need for this particular bit of functionality of this specific device and like I say this really does just work like any other Windows server would so my overall opinion of the Thekus device that we're using now it's a great little device if you want to go ahead and have a pre built pre-designed device that is going to do a purpose-built job sitting on your network providing files and potentially other services as well things like DNS DHCP Active Directory all of that kind of stuff then this really is a fantastic way to go ahead and do that without the complexity of some of the other devices that you may find out there on the marketplace today that is it from me thank you very much for watching please do go ahead hit that like button for me subscribe if you're not already and I will see you all in the next one See ya.